Today is the day I must part ways with my Super Scout Scout Machine version 2. As you guys know, I picked up version 3 a couple weeks back and I've debated on selling version 2 for a while now because it has so much sentimental value. We flew out in Washington together, we did Oshkosh Sun and Fun, a whole bunch of air shows, and won the freaking Icarus race. So this is kind of like a legendary sentimental paramotor to me. But it's just not sensible to keep two around. So I'm going to sell her to my good buddy Jeff. Jeff does want two paramotors, one as a backup. Before we sell it to him, uh, you guys remember back the first day of the Icarus race, I freaking botched that landing, hit a tree and broke three spars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're down. Not my best landing ever. Well, we have to repair that damage. Scout has a carbon fiber repair kit that we're gonna check out put those spars back together and hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, meet up with Jeff and deliver him his new paramotor. So step one, let's uh, remove my janky old duct tape and super glue repair. All right, so one of the first steps is to sand the affected area. All right, tube of super glue, let's go ham. The idea with the super glue, I guess, is just to kind of hold the form and the actual structural rigidity comes from the carbon fiber cloth on top. All right, so here comes the fun part. This clay, first gets rammed in here, and then we start mixing up components of the epoxy, put on the carbon fiber cloth. All right, so we got our modeling clay in the end. This cloth goes over like a freaking Chinese finger trap deal. So now what we got going on is I jammed, well first I cut the weave a little bit and jammed this piece of fuel tubing in the hole. So now the hole is completely blocked up. Um, next, I'm gonna mix the epoxy. All right, now the fun part. Now we just brush this on, but it says not to stroke, to dab. And the idea is just to soak all this carbon fiber weave with the epoxy, let it soak in, and then we wrap it in electrical tape to squeeze all the excess out and apply pressure. Boom! So that's what we got so far. The carbon fiber lays down real nice when you brush that epoxy on. Last and final step is to wrap it up in electrical tape to compress the fibers and squeeze out any excess glue. All right, check it out. This is what we got, all wrapped up in electrical tape. Uh, got a little bit messy, but I cleaned up the rest of the spar, got the fingerprints off, and that should set for about 24 hours. I'm gonna leave that to dry overnight at least. I'm gonna get the other two wrapped up just like this one, and uh, after that we'll work on getting the throttle installed. All three spars are done. I'm gonna put them inside where it's nice and warm. Let them sit overnight and we'll come back tomorrow to peel the tape off and finish the job. Prop bolts are torqued. So it's been about 40 hours since I last did the epoxy repair. Everything is hardened up. We're gonna go upstairs in a minute and peel off the tape and see how it turned out. Um, also, big announcement. I just added the old airfoil t-shirts. Some of you guys might remember them from like a year ago. They were super popular, everyone loved them, but they haven't been around for a while. 
I just added them to my website. They're gonna be print on demand as opposed to the limited edition stuff. So be sure to check that out. I've also got signed posters still available and the airfoil decals. So check that stuff out on the website. Let's go see how those spars turned out. That's one of my best landings on this wing. Whew. Jeff just sent it on the Super Scout Scout Machine version two. I got my last quick rip on it and it was awesome. I'm gonna miss it, but she's in good hands. Jeff will take care of her. We have, I don't know, maybe half an hour till sunset now, and I'm gonna throw on my motor, go up. It's kind of like dreary and lame, but the wind is super dead calm and smooth, so we'll go for a quick rip around. Yeah, he's killing it. Downwind, freaking hauling ass, brother. Yeah, buddy. Scout looks good on you. It's got the freaking God sticker. He's rocking it. I say we drop down into these fields and do a little low-level shenanigans. Oh, I gotta tell you guys about something. Let's uh drop some altitude real quick. Without killing myself. That's always good, right? smack into a tree line so here's the thing we've been in New Jersey for a couple days now and I don't know if anyone else experiences this but you get back home and it's kind of like depressing like after a big trip after Iceland after the Icarus race it was kind of like a week of just moping around trying to get back into the swing of things and that's where I'm kind of at now but good news I got the next trip booked, which is going to be totally rad. So the guys at Aviator, they have these, um, what's the word, like affiliate training centers. And one of those is actually happens to be in Costa Rica. So myself, Eric, and Travis from Aviator, we're all going down, look at this fog, to Costa Rica um, in about less than a week from today. So that's going to be insane. They have a setup there um, for a, a training school, obviously. And that means they have motors, they've got wings. They have free flying there, which is basically paramotoring without the motor, paragliding. Damn, look at this fog. Good thing I know the lay of the land here. I'd freaking hit a dump truck or something. So yeah, damn, it's cold. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get a good taste of free flying. I've done very minimal free flying but they actually have some really legitimate sites there. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm planning on like vlogging every day of it. I hope Jeff remembers how much fuel he has. I don't know, maybe he's got two, three liters. He should be good for a little while. I love
love it. I love freaking flying. These stupid lawn chairs. Oh, I just going for a bit of a cruise, Mike. <laughs> She's got her iPhone out. Please don't hit someone head on. So the carbon fiber repair job on the Scout, I didn't talk much about that, but I was actually really impressed with how it came out. It took a lot of sanding once I peeled the electrical tape off. And I'm sure you could take it like way farther and just go down to crazy fine grit sandpaper and make it like glassy smooth. But I was impressed for the amount of effort and how good it looks. Like you wouldn't notice really unless you look close that it was broken. Man oh man, my hands are cold. You see this? Freaking turning red and purple and white. I freaking lose a finger up here. I'm the worst when it comes to gloves. Just driving in the driveway like it ain't no thing. Let's try to grind these soccer goals. Ding! Okay, I gotta look down to get it on the GoPro. <laughs> That's so awkward. We are officially the only ones here at the park. Alright, my hands are getting really, really cold, so I'm going to get some altitude, we'll trim out, and see if I can do a landing just like the last one I did. Alright, that's about enough altitude. My hands are frozen. I'm going to try to do a really, really fast landing. The last one I did, which I wasn't live calling, was one of my best landings on this wing ever. So, we're going to dump the trims, grab up high. I hope I'm high enough. We're going to squeak on by. I'm going to change up the pattern. We'll make her work. I think that's gonna be all for this one. Crazy, we just like freaking were all over Florida. And then we get back to New Jersey and it's like closing out vlogs at the park, like good old times. Super Scout Scout Machine version two is going home with Jeff. Stay tuned for Costa Rica adventures coming soon. It's gonna be leaving in less than a week. Also check out those shirts on um, the website. So till the next one, <laughs> Jacqueline's fogging up the window in the background. I'll see you guys. Peace out.